server. Testies, testies, and testicles. Horse, my horse, a kingdom for a horse. Uh, can you hear me? Okay, well that's fine. That's what I have up. I just put it I just put that up so I can could go in here and look at different crap. You can see video right now, right? Okay. The I don't know what happened there. It just kind of weirdly timed out going Gonna preemptive strike this audio bug real quick. Did it quit? Mm, let's try again. Should be off now. Um. How about now? That might not be able to be fixed for the moment. Alright. I don't know if it always comes through mono. It really shouldn't, but because it is a damn stereo mic. But worse things have happened. Like how the video just died for no freaking reason whatsoever. Yeah, I, I completely... Uh, yeah, I fought the prototype uh, tyrant just a little while ago, uh, but that was where I stopped last night. I'm just pretty much past there. Um, actually not too bad. The Magnum's a hell of a gun. We'll just leave it at that. I handled my business. I don't think he actually, uh... I actually got hurt on the first one and decided to try to go through it. I reloaded it and went through it again so I wouldn't have to use my herbs 
and then the second time he didn't even touch me once before I killed him. about this puzzle in completely the wrong way. Alright, reset it once again. Well, that's fine and dandy. for the viewers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be here for a while. So I for sure can't move this no matter what. Can't push that that way which would be entirely helpful. I got stuck on a few things and most of the things I got stuck on I was pretty pissed I was being that dumb about it. All except for the math puzzle, the math puzzle I would have never got because I didn't look at that information at all the way they wanted me to look at it. that anymore I won't be able to push it or I already can't push it fuck you puzzle The ones in this have been pretty straightforward. I, there's a few I remember from the past that kind of screwed me, but um, I remember a lot of the ones in Resident Evil One that screwed with me. But I don't, I don't remember the most about that game. So. Nowhere. 
Yes, it is. It makes those other boxes. Float. And the one box just stay on the bottom. I can do it now. Just so you can see. But while it's filled, I don't think it, you can use it. Or use the spinny spinny. really wish it would not make you go through that dialogue every single time. asshole how would I design this puzzle Push that down, I can't move it no longer. Push this all the way over, I'm screwed too. This one's said and done, I'm gonna feel like a complete idiot, ain't I?
Oh. I have no idea what you're saying. That's a little gap. You can jump that, I swear. You can do it. It's not like a little water ever hurt anybody. What's wrong with you? back right in the same friggin spot well Doesn't surprise me. I could have honestly stabbed somebody in the neck over uh, the little statues and those stupid ass books. Because I had examined those books at least 20 times. Yeah, there's there's a three three or four hour video archive of me running around in that mansion portion in circles going what the hell do I have to do before finally clicking on the right exact portion of the book for it to open that stupid book. I think it was bats actually.
I can't push it. So. Unless I am forced to go this way. Unless I'm forced to have Steve to do it. Which could be a possibility. So I'll screw around a little more. Or Billy! That makes the third or fourth time I've called him Steve. <laughs> His name is Billy. <laughs> Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? And that is the solution, isn't it? I just have to have his ass. Womp womp. What could have done this? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy? This game ain't bad so far, but it is very thin on storyline. It's coming from something like uh, Cove Veronica or the like that was a story fiasco. Alright, where the fuck am I going? I can't go there. Might as well just check to make sure. Yep, alright. crazy thing too is that like really for a Resident Evil game there really ain't that many enemies in this game either come on down jerkwad I always think I gotta push, uh... <laughs> hey, Chunky, how about getting out of the way? Oh, no! I'll go alone. Roger. Use your machine gun arm. Hey, look at that. Am 
It may, it may not be right quite yet, but I don't really care. I can actually make a little bit of progress and figure it out. Want, 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 just wait, wait. Go, pushy. Done that the other way. Whatever, I'll do it in. I'll make an extra step. That's oh, okay. I, I'm doing the, just that. I'm just gonna. Do an extra stupid step. Or no? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I, uh, no. It's too dangerous to do that now. Push that one up high enough, I'm going to get screwed. Leave her in the way. if one of the things I think is turns out to be true but we'll deal with that in a minute no that one just barely in the way enough where it doesn't want to do it supposed to protect that from doing that. Alright. I may be foobard. Get the fuck out of the way, Rebecca. Or you can't. Let me go. 
guess. It's that quarter of an inch of difference that made all the difference. I can't I can't get behind it though. I screwed myself. Wanna want to bump boom. Alright. <laughs> yep. That's what I gotta do. Cause I gotta start all over. Sorry, I almost got it. I just kind of, I should have pushed that black box all the way to the wall. I, I guess. Oh no. Hey, hey, now. None of that. Uh, well, Can't really talk shit about Detroit. They're getting a robo a RoboCop statue, and you can't go wrong there. first I'm gonna be pissed off if this is different than what I'm assuming but why can't I push you why 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 Just slightly too big, is that what the problem is? Just a little push, come on. Oh. <sighs> Alright. This puzzle is already on some bullshit. <laughs> no, don't. 
push that one. Saw that coming. Alright. But that is fine. myself. Fuck! No! Stupid ass popping ass bug. How about now? I didn't mean to do that. Let's have to pay attention to this thing. I also wonder why my streaming shit is reporting I have zero viewers when I'm sitting here staring at viewers. <laughs> This is uh this is actually the first time that this has done this, so whatever. Great questions. There are no simple answers.
let's see if I can't be not an idiot this time. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Let me back there. You can squeeze back there, fatty. I can see you walking behind there. It literally is like a It literally is like a pixel. Won't, won't, won't. I've said it once before while playing this, but uh, some real genuine assholes designed this fucking game. I would say that's partially true, but I don't know if you know or not, but this was originally planned for a Nintendo 64 release that never really quite got off the ground, and then they just decided at some point it was going to be a, a GameCube port, or a GameCube dedicated game, I should say. I'd say they even started working on this like slightly before and or after the Resident Evil 2 port to Nintendo 64. Okay, I can for sure get behind that, right? Yes. So, you gotta think in the grand scheme of things, this probably was in the hands of uh, three or four different dev teams within Capcom itself. Yep, if you look, you can, uh, I'm sure it's still up on YouTube or whatever, but if you look, you can still find a ton of, uh, footage of this actually running on a Nintendo 64, and it looks bad.
I think the only portion they really had done was uh, the first little train portion and I don't even don't even quite recall if they had Billy in there or not or if, if it was just Rebecca at that point now Was when a giant shark jumps out and bites my head off. Let's regroup. Roger. Screw then, because I don't have a battery. Come on. Let's split up. Roger.
I have a feeling something horrible is going to go wrong, so I'll run back to the save real quick. This one gonna have a math problem associated with it.
actually I'm going to let this sit right here for a second and I need to use the potty so I'll be right back That should be good, hopefully. Also, I worked in a crackhead hotel, so, uh, I was the night watchman, if you will, and uh, main clerk. And let's just say some interesting things happened, so the story is not that far-fetched.
say that's not a zombie. That whole leaving the grenade launcher thing behind isn't making much sense anymore. <laughs> Take it, I'm getting ready to make a battery. out there right about now so 
wish you all the luck in the world. She just used my magnum bullets. I forgot I had her equipped with the stupid goddamn things.
I'm gonna push forward under the assumption that I'm going to die shortly. I just want to know what's here. Oh, that's the... That leads up back to the part where I was, right? Or no? No. Not at all. just that motherboard up there for the whatever thing back there the terminal tower or whatever okay, can't do that yet so that would be where the tower comes in handy right back that same direction so
arbitrary decision is uh, mocking me at every turn. Go in a gigantic circle. I think I kind of did. Well, you stay there. Nothing with her. I have five regular handgun bullets, so I think I'm going the wrong way. Not sure though. stupid as it is, it's still messing with me. Like, if I can't control the camera, I can't keep a good idea of where anything is, really. Frog, but I ain't messing with it.
gonna do that anytime soon. I kind of figured it's getting pretty close. <laughs> generator decide game comes out of my personal pile of shame. Um, I've played through Resident Evil 1 probably two times. I played through Resident Evil 2 probably about 20 times. Um, Resident Evil 3 probably about 20 times. Uh, Resident Evil 4 at least six different times because I played through it twice on the GameCube and at least twice on the PlayStation 2 and um and I played through Resident Evil 5 at least twice and this and the remake is the only games I haven't played for the remake of one I should say for the GameCube are the only ones I didn't have and I never really bothered to pop them in so um... if you look at my main bio which is uh... underneath the chat there's a there should be a link to I don't know I don't know where the hell that would be Um, yeah, I also bought Bioshock 2, which I need to go through at some point. Um, somewhere in my bio, there's a, there's a link to a whole bunch of, like, my list of games of shame, if you will, and kind of, uh, all kinds of other different things, like how I decided to co play this game in the first place, which is actually a pretty ridiculous thing because I used uh, a dice roller and probably like the most ridiculous Let's method regroup. for picking okay. this game in the first place. 
like I said, Resident Evil 5, probably about the first half hour, hour of it, I was hating it and thought it was the worst thing that ever existed. And shortly after that, I started having a blast with it. I just thought it was so awesome. Like I said, the key to it is mainly just uh, uh, upgrading your stuff and then giving them to the girl. Like if you upgrade the handgun or whatever and then give it to Shiva, it's a lot better that way. Did that one take three shots and the other one took one? Alright, have a good night. Uh, I usually do this around midnight uh, Eastern Standard Time, so. And I should be going live with a bunch of random games here and there. All my uh, tags and stuff are in the bio if you want to know more about me. like they're uh, going for best of both worlds there. I kind of hope they do. Oh yeah, there was nothing up here except for that. Because it kind of looks like what they're doing with uh, the multiple characters is they're going to have 
I mean, at least from what the trailer kind of portrays, it kind of looks like Chris is going to be your action tank and the other ones are going to kind of be the sneaky sneakies. <laughs> You can't unsee it. loss of where the hell I'm going. It shouldn't. It should pop up in a new window. And it's not anything bad. off into the sky for no apparent reason and waste like five shots of shotgun for no good reason survive in order to expose this much nightmare.
good, but better. ever going to go back to actual zombies. I think they're going to steer slightly away from uh, the stuff like what was in Resident Evil 5 and 4. But not too much. So it'll be closer to an old school Resident Evil. I've seen that a number of different places so but uh I'm not saying I have any inside information on Resident Evil 6 though don't get me misunderstood but um that picture I had found different people link me to it and I had seen it on my own too but um it's about that does this not do anything thing on the wall that does nothing. Awesome. saw it on image Gur in the first place um, and that's from uh, the giant bomb forums giantbomb.com is a video game website it's about love apparently and cheeseburgers
greatest of questions is, I honestly wanted a bad track for that uh, grenade launcher. Could I do it? And where the hell would that be? stupidest thing on the on the face of the planet. <laughs> using <laughs> it's reaching speeds of three Sorry, I keep checking the map, but it's super simple to get turned around in this damn place. And this isn't in the best of maps. And 
she's officially out of ammo. No. This one's a lot better and it's still pretty piss poor when it comes to user f being user friendly. You stay here. I have no ammo. Don't eat Billy. What the hell is that? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh. He just up and ate him. He didn't even try. I don't even know where I was. <sighs> Covered in filth and spleen?